modifications in this leaf modifications uh, what is the first leaf modification means insectivorous plants insectivorous uh, plants this insectivorous plants what are the insectivorous plants means one it is uh, nepenthes one it is uh, nepenthes and the second one it is nothing but dionia and second one it is nothing but uh, dionia plant in this nepenthes in this nepenthes uh, this dionia it is also called as venus fly trap dionia it is also called as venus fly trap this nepenthes and dionia why they are called as insectivorous plants means uh, this nepenthes and dionia they are growing in nitrogen deficient soils they are growing in nitrogen deficient uh, soils they are growing in which soils means uh, nitrogen deficient uh, soils that means uh, as these uh, plants namely known as nepenthes and dionia as they are growing in nitrogen deficient soils uh, so they trap the insect so they trap the insect they will kill the insect they will digest the insect and from that insect proteins uh, nitrogen compounds are utilized by nepenthes and dionia so that uh, they can leads a perennial life uh, and in this insectivorous plants in this insectivorous plants what happens means uh, first when we take this nepenthes as an example in this nepenthes what happens means uh, and moreover this nepenthes grows in which forest means uh, orissa forest when it is compared with india in this nepenthes what happens means uh, it shows uh, how many modifications means see here this is nothing but a green flattened this is nothing but a green flattened green flattened leaf like structure green flattened leaf like structure that is nothing but phyllode green flattened leaf like structure that is nothing but which one here phyllode that means which one it is modified here lower part of the petiole this is nothing but lower part of the lower part of the petiole in this lower part of the petiole modifies into green flattened leaf like structure and it can perform photosynthesis and it can perform which one means a photo synthesis due to which they can prepare their own food material so it is called as a phyllode that means in this nepenthes lower part of the petiole modifies into green flattened leaf like structure which can perform photosynthesis uh, and it is nothing but uh, phyllode and it is nothing but which one means uh, phyllode and the next one it is uh, upper part of the petiole is modified into upper part of the petiole is modified into upper part of the petiole is modified into tendril this is nothing but upper part of the this is nothing but upper part of the petiole is modified into tendril so this tendril means uh, what is the main function of tendril means a uh, tendril it is long wiry coiled sensitive structure tendril it is uh, one long two coiled three sensitive structure sensitive structure one it is long second one it is coiled third one it is sensitive structure which helps in climbing which helps in climbing and the next one it is nothing but uh, and the next it is nothing but uh, the leaf blade it is modified into leaf blade it is modified into lamina leaf blade that is nothing but leaf lamina leaf lamina it is developing into pitcher it is developing into pitcher so this nepenthes it is also called as pitcher plant nepenthes it is also called as which one means 
which are plant and what happens here means in this uh, nepenthes the surface the rim of the pitcher rim of the pitcher it shows uh, nectar glands rim of the pitcher it shows which glands means uh, nectar glands that means glands are present inside the flower but it is if it is present outside the flower can we call that glands as uh, extra floral nectaries yes the glands are called as uh, extra floral nectaries that glands are called as which one here extra floral nectaries that means uh, glands if they are present inside the flower then it is called as floral nectaries here the glands present inside the flower no it is present on the rim of the pitcher so it is called as uh, extra floral nectaries so it is called as extra floral nectaries now what happens means the tip of the leaf is modified into large so which one is modified means here tip of the leaf here the tip of the leaf is modified into larger colorful immovable lid large colorful immovable lid that means what happens here means uh, this uh, the tip of the leaf is modified into large colorful immobile lid what is the main function of this large colorful immobile lid means uh, as it is colorful what happens means uh, it attracts the insects uh, due to which uh, insects they will think that something is present in this area so that insects are dragged out towards this uh, immobile lid that is nothing but a colorful large immobile lid now what happens means after that uh, i will explain later on first we will discuss here the structures which are present inside the pitcher inside the pitcher what happens means uh, it shows a downward projecting hairs inside the pitcher it shows which hairs means uh, downward projecting uh, hairs this downward projecting hairs uh, and uh, it is also mixed with uh, digestive glands and it also mixed with which glands means uh, digest to glands it is also mixed with uh, digest to glands and these are nothing but which hairs means downward projecting hairs downward projecting hairs downward projecting uh, hairs now inside the rim uh, it shows uh, beneath this downward projecting hairs uh, it shows a uh, slippery surface it shows which surface means a uh, slippery surface now beneath the slippery surface it shows acidic fluid beneath the slippery surface it shows which fluid means acidic fluid it shows acidic fluid now can you tell me once the insect comes into the pitcher whether that insect whether try to escape out yes which one plays an important role in stopping the escaping of insect means uh, that is nothing but downward projecting hairs downward projecting hairs downward projecting uh, hairs and second one that is nothing but uh, slippery surface second one that is nothing but which surface means uh, slippery surface that means a downward projecting hairs and slippery surface uh, plays an important role in stopping the escaping of uh, insect stopping the escaping of uh, insect but whereas uh, acidic fluid but whereas which fluid means uh, acidic fluid acidic fluid what it will do means it will kills the insect it will kills the insect it will kills which one means uh, insect and the digestive glands uh, and the digestive glands uh, what this digestive glands what they will do means uh, they will secrete uh, digestive juices they will secrete which juices means uh, digestive juices what are the digestive juices means it secretes uh, proteolytic enzymes it secretes which enzymes means uh, proteolytic uh, enzymes it secretes proteolytic uh, enzymes what are called as proteolytic enzymes means uh, those are nothing but uh, trypsin those are nothing but trypsin and as well as uh, pepsin these are nothing but the proteolytic enzymes these proteolytic enzymes are nothing but trypsin and 
pepsin these proteolytic enzymes belonging to how many which class means third class of enzyme classification belongs to which class third class belonging to enzyme classification now what happens means here as nepenthes it shows green flattened leaf like structure that is nothing but fill out that means uh, it can prepare their own food materials it can it can prepare their which one can prepare their own food materials that is nothing but fill load can prepare their own food materials can we call this one as autotrop now yes it is called as autotrop it is called as autotrop that means whether it is showing internal digestion or external digestion it shows internal digestion it shows which digestion means internal digestion it shows a uh, internal digestion and whereas uh, this uh, nepenthes uh, due to the modified leaf can you tell me how many how many parts of the leaf in nepenthes is uh, modified into means and that means in nepenthes uh, leaf is modified into how many parts means four parts one it is uh, one it is uh, lower part of the petiole one it is which one lower part of the petiole is modified into fill load is modified into which one fill load second one that is nothing but uh, upper part of the petiole upper part of the upper part of the petiole it is modified into tendril it is modified into which one tendril third one leaf blade or leaf lamina leaf blade or leaf lamina leaf blade or leaf lamina it is modified into pitcher it is modified into pitcher whereas fourth one leaf apex leaf apex is modified into immovable modified into which one immovable colorful lid immobile colorful lid that means it shows how many modifications four modifications in the leaf it shows two modifications in leaf lamina it shows two modifications leaf lamina modified into pitcher tip of the leaf lamina leaf apex it is modified into immobile colorful lid can you tell me arrange these parts of the modified leaf of nepenthes in descending order in which order in descending order that is nothing but uh, one it is nothing but uh, in descending order means from apex to the base descending order means from apex to the base uh, in this uh, apex it is first one it is occupied by in this first one it is occupied by lid in descending order what i am saying here in descending order in descending order first one it shows lid second one it shows pitcher second one it shows which one pitcher and the third one it shows a tendril third one it shows a tendril fourth one it shows a fill load fourth one it shows which one here fill load that means uh, arrange the parts of the modified leaf uh, in nepenthes in descending order one it is lit from apex to the base that is nothing but the descending order one it is lid second one it is pitcher third one it is tendril fourth one it is fill load fourth one itself it is nothing but fill load but whereas in ascending order means in this manner first one goes to ascending manner first one fill load second one tendril third one pitcher fourth one it is nothing but lid in descending order first one it is lid second one it is pitcher third one it is tendril and fourth one it is fill load fourth one itself it is called as fill load now see here now this immobile colorful lid what it will do means it attracts the insects due to which insects are coming towards the lid and what happens means due to the presence of extra floral nectar is which produces which secretes nectar glands then the insect will smell the fragrance of the nectar smell the fragrance of the nectar and what that insect will think means uh, this is the landing area where the insect will land but what happens when it is lands upon this uh, area it does not shows any base immediately that leave that insect uh, 
comes into the picture, falls into the picture. Once the insect falls into the picture, now the insect will try to escape. But what happens? These downward projecting air like structures, they are not allowing the insect to escape. Due to which one or another time the insect will tied up, tied up. Due to which what happens? They will, due to which they will try to, due to which they will try to land upon the slippery surface due to which that surface itself it is slippery due to which again the insect will fall into the acidic fluid. Once the insect fell into the acidic fluid, they cannot, they cannot fly, they cannot fly and slowly try to, try to escape from the slippery surface of the pitcher due to which again that is slippery surface due to which again that insect will fall into the acidic fluid due to which one or another time this insect will undergoes death. And at that time what happens means DIS2 gland secretes DIS2 juices. The DIS2 juices it is nothing but uh, proteolytic enzymes which are nothing but trypsin and pepsin which can which will which belongs to the third class of the enzymatic classification which digests the insect and it will takes that insect proteins. In that insect proteins it takes uh, nitrogen and this plant can survive in healthier manner. Survive in healthier manner. So, this is about the Nepenthes. This is about which one here? Nepenthes. Whereas, in Dionia that is nothing but Venus flytrap. One more thing about this Nepenthes. It is acting as an autotrops and as it eats insect, can we call that one as secondary consumers? Yes. It is acting as autotrops. Why? Because due to the fill load, it is green flattened leaf like structure. It can prepare photosynthesis. So, it is called as autotrops where it shows internal digestion. But as it capture insect, as it capture which one? Insect. Due to which what happens? As it capture insect, can we call that one as secondary consumers? Yes. It is called as which one means secondary consumers. It is called as secondary consumers. That means, whether this Nepenthes plant, whether they shows uh, extracellular digestion, yes. Why? Because the insect, it is digested outside the leaf, no? So, it is called as uh, extracellular digestion. So, it is called as which digestion? Extracellular digestion. So, it is called as uh, extracellular digestion. And when it is compared with Dionia, when it is compared with which one? Dionia. That is nothing but Venus flytrap. Here the here this is also called as insectivorous plant. So why? Because it catches the insect. So this is about uh, the leaf, first leaf modification that is nothing but uh, insectivorous uh, plants.